Morphling. So there are some answers, but I can see Pig Killer just running this down. Like, I was actually hoping we'd get something funky, like say the Marcy Problem Beast Lane, just because, well, Sidekick also increases your trample damage, right? Because it does use your actual ba Oh, it's only your base damage, so it actually doesn't amp up. Never mind. Would have been funny if the added damage worked, but doesn't quite. Oh, no. Look, look at this, Jonathan. I never thought I'd see Ponlo's face in a, in a Chinese DPC game, but here we go. Ponlo's there for some reason. <laughs> of course, we're seeing old Thompson as well. It seems like Lon Fur is a fan of both Alliance and OG, or rather old G, excuse me. So here you go. He's got all the stickers placing the uh, old man Thompson there in the mid lane. I mean, uh, that I can understand. <laughs> I don't understand why Ponlo's here. And fu funnily enough, you well, and I, I think we're casting Ponlo later. Yeah. I mean, he did spend some time in China, right? In Aster Aries. Remember the TIS yeah, like Altars where he played his Chen? Yeah, yeah. so uh, he must have loved it. Hey, that kid leaves an impact, you know what I'm saying? Ponlo but leaves an impression on you. <laughs> <laughs> Two event, uh, three for one bounty rune trade. So it works in the favor here of Piggy Killer as Poke were only able to get the, the bottom river bounty rune. Not the greatest of starts, but nevertheless, it is going to be a three for one in the way of Piggy Killer. And we'll start off with the mid lane while we're here, John. Small KK, going to be up against XM. What are you thinking? Punk versus Storm Spirit. Barely even lane. Neither one should really be shoved out. Both sides should just be able to farm up. It's almost a static farming lane unless someone severely oversteps and kind of cops too much aggression. Like your level 3 timing on Storm isn't as amazing with the Vortex Overload. You don't really get to maximize the double overloads here. Support rotations can be a little bit nice. Uh, I think you have more threat on Piggy Killer though, with the Marcy and with the Disruptor. So it can be a little bit tight until that level six for the Storm if rotations come in. Frisk is playing really forward. Yeah, he is, and he gets a kill with it. Frisk already securing first blood here onto Eren. That was to, with just the Dispose up. The thing you can't forget about with Marcy, right? While its spells might be super nerfed, it's still got really high base damage. Like she's sitting at 60 level one. So she does hit very hard just with her punches. See, you can't underestimate, like, with, just with, with the Dispose, if you get caught off guard, she can just kind of keep hitting you until you die. They do get a big kill on the Laundry Bear. Like, Killa, he's just been running around with Scorched Earth, and Fly Fly, he just bleeds out a lot of gold, giving that away towards Killa. So you're, you're kind of happy. Like, yes, you lose first blood, but if you keep killing this bear off in the lane, and Marcy can get all the kills she wants, but you're you're feeding off more off that bear because the the gold it gives early on is still huge. It certainly is. Well, fly, fly. I'm sure he'll be a little bit more careful about it as they are going to jump in with the rebound. Killer getting instead for a moment is going to be okay to back his way out. That's a, another little combination we we haven't really talked about as well. Like you can just jump off the spirit bear and that kind of works in your favor. Like it's. Kind of hard to coordinate, but for Flyfly, Fly, he can always try to coordinate with this Marcy to land the perfect rebound every time. Yeah, you have a good front line to set up for the Marcy. So you should have a pretty good game for Flyfly. Fly. Again, despite losing his bear, he is finding the CS. And he's already got the early Blight Zone to be able to hit back. As the levels go up, this can get a little bit harder to manage. Although again, they've got their focus, right? They just try to burn Fly Fly's bear as fast as they can. And uh, cooldown is pretty massive in that they find another kill on it. They're diving. Yeah, it. they're straight up diving in. And Frisk is going to try and punish them a little bit for this. Fly Fly is still trying to juke around the tree line. He's doing a very good job of it. This is a fair bit of wasted time, but I suppose to be fair to Poke, they don't really have a creep wave to farm anyway. So they'll continue the harassment on the bear. Fly Fly is going to send, send it back to the fountain, I believe. Doesn't really need it anyway. We'll be able to just keep leveling up here and keep securing farm on his own. Bring the bear back a little bit later on. I suppose it is fair as well. Like, against the Doom, who's already going to be getting an influx of gold, you really don't want to allow him to get a quicker Midas if you can avoid it. Yeah, just stem the bleeding. It's a little bit harder to CS for Fly Fly, though. Base damage of your Lone Druida is fairly atrocious. So he wants that bear back ASAP. We'll see how the lane fares later on. If you have that kill down bot, and ran, ran down Ran Fudao. So... That is one thing as well. When you pick the tree into, into Primal Beast, and we saw Ava just run down the tree line, and he can just keep doing that. Like it, it's free tree clearing. He clears trees better than Timbersaw 
until Timbersaw hit yeah. six. It's kind of ridiculous. It is what it is. You know, new heroes tend to do that. It's uh, it sucks for the train. Oh but... no! Killer? You TP in and you get glimpsed. Oh, there was a glimpse back, was there? Well, never mind. But there it is, Ranfu down, making the walk of shame. His top lane, they are still fighting. Killer just so tanky. It's Frisk. It's gonna get lifted up. We'll rebound out, but Fly Flies Bear is again in trouble, but it is gonna survive. 39 HP as Eren does ping it out. It seemed like he was very unhappy about that bear getting away. <laughs> so Killer did not go for the bear, but rather went back to the creep wave. But still, the, the impact of this lone druid, it, it's quite weak while the bear is weak. So I think if you are picky killer, you just come to the realization that killer is probably oh. not going to die, but maybe you could try onto Eren as they are going to give it a crack. Fade Bolt is out, but Eren is dropping rather quickly and is going to die. This killer will trade. Now Fly Fly finding himself in danger is just going to oh drop. Oh my god. That's the big issue though. This Doom, he's a tanky boy. Yeah, he has the Wraith Band up, extra armor. I'm, your Lone Druid just isn't as durable. And the worst part about that is Fly Fly just summoned his bear. He just resummoned to refresh its HP. He's not going to be able to farm up in that lane too comfy for like a full minute. That's a lot of time for Kill to just dominate. And so far, despite these kills coming out for Piggy Killers, Poke is up there in the CS. If you're not okay, pulling okay. out Lon Fur. Mid lane, they're gonna try into the storm. Outside, even gonna show up here as small KK, still trying to survive. Just a couple creeps away from level six. He'll try to turn onto Frisk. Surely he still dies. No, the zip away. Oh, he gets the kill onto Frisk. He secures the XP for level six and he's out. They can't kill him. That's massive for Poke. Like, they're finding all these good skirmishing wins. Piggy killers are committing so much to try and get this start going for themselves and it's not quite lining up it's it's really difficult when you're in that behind position we talked about this lineup it doesn't do well when you're having to sit back and farm for too long with how fast poke can play the game so they have to kind of watch themselves here they need six up to be on xm uh oh top lane fly fly is going to drop small kk with an immediate immediate rotation up top lane after he resets the fountain Sure, it puts him out of position to farm, but nevertheless, that's the second time this Lone Druid's died already. And they are just doing a fantastic job of not enabling this Lone Druid to get the farm he needs for his bear. And it's not like mid lane's been left alone anyway. Eren can just defend the lane by spamming Fade Bolt onto the creep wave. And that's exactly what he's doing. There's just no punishment towards this. Yeah, there isn't. Maybe they can find no. small KK with no mana, though. Oh? I think they might. They have. He's just dead. They don't even need the coil for this. They just committed in case he's going to try and zip down to the low ground. But he can't even do that. that that's a good counter kill to find. You still managed to get a lot out from small KK in that one life, though. Like that rotation to top, slowing down Fly Fly. This, this lone druid is off to a fairly slow start. He's still up there in terms of net worth. So you should still be able to farm. Frisk in danger. I mean, he's trying to set up as this Marcy. Rebound, no, oh. a nice slip from Eren. Not going to allow the stun to land. Eren being very, very strong already on this route because they will glimpse him back and finally take him out. So it will be a bit of a trade going back the way of Fly Fly, who desperately needs the bonus gold right now. But I'll tell you what, Eren's impact already on the Rubik, even if he's 0, 3, and 4. In fact, hold oh, that no. thought, because Fly Fly now is getting jumped. He does have the true form, however. So he's going to be just fine to survive through it. But my point being, like, Eren's already having so much impact on this Rubik, even if he has died three times. He's, he is not making the life of Frisk very easy on this Marcy at all. No, it's making it really difficult. We talked about the Marcy trying to scale into a bit of a semi-core. This kind of slow start can set that back if you are kind of gunning for it on the side of Piggy Killer. So, they're good. Again, the side of Poker doing a great job of just keeping Piggy Killer down. Like, we haven't seen too much action from Ava. No supports can really help him out in trying to pin down the Morphling. And uh, yeah, he's not really able to do much with his early Pulverize. They're trying to p shove in mid, but the living armor from around Fu just makes it an impossible thing for the Puck to try and get even a little bit of a shove going for themselves here on side of Piggy Killer. So you're just taking all the wins across. 
here on poke the one lane or the one here that's still struggling is small kk like yes he's up in cs his net worth is behind even ava right now so your storm with his rotations and with that one death is set is set back a little bit i think for piggy killer they have a good point now to just kind of sit in the jungle for fly fly and if no one can contest him if that storm isn't able to zip across with some items to try to hunt him down with say assistance from killa and then the recovery process for the Lone Druid kicks in pretty darn fast. Oh, they're looking at bot lane. Lunfer, he's kind of been uncontested this whole time as the morph. Looking to see if they can try to make a bit of a jump in, but not going to be that simple here for Piggy Killer. Yeah, Ava's been very quiet on the Primal Beast as well. Trying to farm up a mech here on the Primal. Paul rises out into the Morphling, but he needs to leave. He does have the Onslaught up, but he's going to hold on to it just in case. Lonfer is making sure this Primal Beast cannot farm whatsoever down to this bot lane. And Kazeva's going for the, the mech build up into the Guardian Greaves. He does have to play a little bit more passively until that mechanism is up. I think he has a good understanding though. Like no one else can really build that in a good timing outside of him. Considering the start. You don't necessarily want your Disruptor to be the carrier for that this game. I'll try to smoke up here, Piggy Killer. And I sip away. Outside's trying to get some vision here oh. for the uh, the glimpse back, but a nice smoke and a, trying to hide them is outside. Oh, he's just out of range, but no, he gets killer. That's a big pick off if they can secure. He is a very Dying tanky canceled. target, but they should eventually have him in the living armor, making him that much harder to kill, but eventually they will take him out. Nice pick up there from XM, and something that felt like they desperately needed. Yeah, it caused some awkward issues for Poke. Aaron canceled his TP. He was going Ooh. home. And he thought he could maybe help. Now he's just kind of stuck in the tree line, so he's not able to move into the other lanes, try to make a try to assist. He might be able to flank in when the respawns are up and if they commit the TP, but I'll try to run out. No luck. Oh, okay, there's the entangle. They'll get one, but he does have the lift. Forcing more rotations. It's frisky he's just gonna jump in and Aaron. Well, it was definitely a very awkward situation because he's just died and Frisk is trying to TP out and he's gonna make it. Oh, it couldn't have gone worse. Oh, that's uh, terrible. Ah, uh, the cancel TP leading into kill. They're chasing down small KK. And small KK actually hiding in the tree line as the orb is not going to connect from XM. Barely going to survive thanks to Ranfu Dao. Meanwhile, Lunfu was also being hunted down as the Morphling, but he is going to be able to survive through it. Mind you, he has basically no HP now, but will strength morph his way back up. Still 5-7 to seven now, 1k advantage the way of Piggy Killer, which honestly is not too bad of a position, considering how badly their safe lane went. I, I think they're in a pretty reasonable condition in this game, number one. But Poke, they're off to a fantastic start too, and Lunfer, I believe we have seen him carry on morph a couple times, and he does tend to do a pretty damn good job, so... That is kind of a, a scary thing for Piggy Killer to have to go into later on. Yeah, I mean, the Morphling, it feels like there are a lot of good Morph targets. You can just turn into Prime Beast, can be big. Here we go. As you say that, Ava is going to get jumped by an Onslaught from Lunfer, and he is indeed going to drop. When you look at that, right? Like, you think about Primal Beast's kit, Prample is base damage plus some bonus. Yeah. If you turn into Primal Beast, take the Trample and just run around as Morphling. Waveform yes. in. That is an atrocious amount of damage. It, it, it is, is overwhelming. An, it is incredible that, that it uses the base damage of Trample as a Morphling. It's a... Uh... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a problem, Jonathan, to say the least. Oh. As I heard uh, a glimpse This could back. be a problem. Oh, it is a problem. They've got the Morphling pulverized in the Static Storm. He's trying to run, but the Perma Lockdown is there. Lunfer is gone. Big it's smoke rotation. They've got the Doom, though. They've got the Blink Doom. Killer could try to make a play. Yeah, but I don't know if they're confident without their morph. Like, just having Lunfer around really helps out with that bonus damage. Let's see, because now the T1 bottom tower is under siege. They might need to make a jump in to defend. Lunfer's got 10 seconds if he wants to try and join this fight. Killer does have the Blink to initiate. He's gonna make the jump in. Doom is there, but he already got the true form off in time. Glimpse out as well. Looks like the bear is gonna be fine for at least now, though. Killer is trying to chase with the overgrowth. They will lock him down. They have got the lone draw, but it does cost them their pulse three doom. 
Lonfer, he's still trying to fight. Eren's actually morphed the true form in, in, himself as the as the damn Rubik. But he is going to drop. It's going to be a 2-2 two, two trade. Make that a third now, because Ranfu down should just die and will. But Ava's being chased by Lonfer. A nice little glimpse back onto Lonfer, who's going to ensure he cannot continue the chase. But XM is here now. Big zip forward. Back in onto Ava. He will at least find the Primal Beast. So a three for three in the end. I think in the favor of Piggy Killer, but it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I feel like it's a pretty equal fight because you lost your Morphling early on. You managed to find the LD kill. So you're you're kind of trading back and forth. It's, it's really good understanding from both sides that they kind of have to shut each other down. The one thing that I am kind of uh, impressed by here in Poke is that small KK. He actually does go for the Midas Hunt Storm. He knows he's a little bit behind. He's trying to build up. This could arguably be a very greedy build because you have two Midas heroes right now on Poke and you're still trying to farm on Lonfer. But the the upside is if you're trying to scale into Piggy Killer, you know, trying to deal with that Lone Druid, trying to deal with potentially the Marcy getting BKB and Basher at some point, this is the solution to it. Just scale faster than they do with these Midases if the game does go slow. Frisk. This guy is just so brave. He just runs up the, the high ground without any vision. And Poker actually the ones to back off when they see him. Instead, they're trying to push in the mid-tier one tower. Lunfer going all in for this. Does commit his waveform, but is more than happy to try and fight XM as well as he does go for the chase. But XM does have a haste room, so now the turnaround is there as Killer. He is going to get jumped on, but he's fine. A nice glimpse back will break the Dream Coil. Now he's stuck in the Static Storm. Can he survive through it? I don't think he can. Frisk will ensure they've got enough damage. That he will give his own life away, but it's a huge kill once again for Piggy Killer. And Lun Fur is really starting to struggle. Like, there's some very cheeky combinations with the Dream Call into the Glimpse. And then the Static Storm to just follow up and be a guaranteed hit on the Morphling. And there's just nothing he can do to escape that. Yeah, doesn't have too much counterplay. He's going to need some defensive items up. He is going for the Yasha into BKB. And that BKB is going to pretty much cover all his bases. And Piggy Killer, their solution to that will be way down the line when you get your Puck Talents up. When you get maybe the Pulverize going through Magic and GMT as well. Now run through now. Going to cop the, uh, the old Primal Beast treatment. He's got the Glimpse back there with Outside and that's easy pick up. It seems like Piggy Killer want to start setting up for the mid-tier one tower, but it's just very hard against the Train Protector. And with that, Flyfly Fly being completely ready to do this, it's uh, it may not be too feasible. Though I say that Flyfly Fly is almost, I think he's actually got the Deso on the way on the Courier. So he probably could join his team for this, but it seems like he may not even be necessary. The T1 mid tower is just gone anyway. Yeah, they commit enough numbers, they force small KK to head down bot to try to farm and maybe try to deal with Flyfly Fly just shoving in. And they can't threaten. The storm zipping up onto the lone druid is one oh, of your big plays along with like the blink doom. Look at this, John. Deso's up. Here we go. Here comes the stupidity. Oh boy. Bottom. Oh, massive onslaught with a great setup from XM. That is going to be two down immediately. Two massive cores. There's now a glimpse back. Going to catch Ran Fudel. They'll have their way with him as he does pop the overgrowth, but I don't think it's going to do much in the way of saving him. He is gone. Now let's see what happens to this team what T2 Tower. Oh, they don't have the sidekick, sadly. We won't get to see it yet. We'll have to hold out. <laughs> Even without it though, it already melts so fast. So when you have the when you have the max out sidekick and that bear, it's not gonna it's really not gonna take that long. Inside of no. Poke, the only benefit they do get from that fight is it's space for Lonfer to farm. So your morphling is again building up, trying to work onto that BKB. They have to be able to play off these BKB timings though. That's a big thing. You've got your BKB on Killer ready to go as well. And eventually you'll have your BKB on small KK. So the triple BKB is that's your solution to the jump in from Piggy Killer. And the timing is still not too bad, right? Your, your lead here in Piggy Killer isn't massive. It's still less than 1K. You've still got answers here. You've still got the Doom ready if you do want to jump in again. I mean, we, we could go right now if they really want to, but it seems like they just want to... They want to wait for the right moment. They'll back off. I mean, Flyfly Fly is just building into a basher right now, so once the basher's up, he can just solo people on his own, basically. 
one throw naturally going for a BKB build up because he's been glimpsed back into a static store multiple times now. And I'm sure that is getting rather frustrating for him. BKB going to be very important for Lunfer to actually be able to fight with his team. The thing is, though, when the Basher comes up on Flyfly, Fly, like, I I, I kind of doubt anyone really survives through the onslaught of this bear, right? A sidekick no. or not, this bear is hitting like a truck. When he gets the lockdown with Entangle and Basher, it's very hard to escape. But speaking of escaping, XM Illusion. does actually juke them out and oh, he's going to try and force the Doom. Look at this. Killer, don't fall for it, sir. No, he knows. Or does he? Monfer? No, he's going to morph into it. They'll see what. They have another if XM wants to try again, and I think he will, but it's it's still very obvious. Like, the, the puck isn't going to walk up like that. Nice yeah, try. Nah. You waste some of your time. That's a lot of heroes just stuck up there. Ranfu is stuck alone down bot, but they don't manage to spot him out, so they're not going to be able to find some punish. They will get a smoke off the back of that, though. See if that's something that leads into anything for Piggy Killer. They might run into small KK would be a good one, but the pings are mid. Oh, killer. He's a, he's a big target, this guy. He's got BKB up this time around, though, so it's not going to be that easy to catch him as he will be forced to pop it. They still want to fight. Like, knowing the BKB is now down is probably the best time for Piggy Killer to try and force a fight. Everyone is trying to stay off the map, though, here from Poke. Just don't give them vision of where they are at the moment. The only one really showing was small KK down to the bot lane, but he's way too far away. So instead, maybe if you go for Roshan here as the Dire, and it seems like Flyfly wants to give it a crack. Again, it doesn't take too long, especially once you get the sidekick going there. And there's the output. It is a lot of output. So they're going to be able to melt right through. For the side of Poke, very fortunate that, you know, they had the haste rune as well, so they can maintain that chase on the Doom. But with a BKB down, you don't really feel comfy fighting in. This is giving you time to still get those other BKBs up and running, though, which is still the big timing you want. Like, yeah, you waste a charge into Doom. It doesn't matter too much once you do have triple BKBs, because you can't deal with all of them at once on Piggy Killer. So just be patient here and poke. Get those BKBs up and running on small KK and Lanfa, and that's when things can start going, although... Yeah, killer, top plane. Oh, the glimpse is there. They should be able to secure a deny if he even dies, and he won't. Guiding Greaves is out. Glimmer Cape just in case, and killer stuck around. Frisk is going to go for a chase. Nice little blink away. Should be enough to ensure he doesn't die. The orb, a little bit too late to scout him out, though. Meanwhile, the die triangle. Looks like small KK almost dies here to the, the spirit bear. Again, you really cannot try to contest the bear right now as a storm because he can entangle and he can bash. Very, very scary if either one hits. Yeah, it's just so much output coming out here on the side of Piggy Killer when you, you do manage to lock in just on Fly Fly. And he doesn't even have his secondary build ready for the hero. You know, the rate band spam, not quite online yet. So you still have room to grow on your main hero as well. It's kind of dumb, right? Like. You get those times two stats on that. Suddenly, Laundry has a secondary eco build for himself, along with a bear. It's actually so yep. much armor and attack speed for this hero as well. Well, there goes the T2 mid tower. Lunfer has managed to pick up a BKB in the meantime, so now you have that available. But even then, he might just not be confident because you've got the answer in the bash off. Like the bear is still a huge problem even through the BKB. Waveform forward, XM may get caught here on the puck. The jaunt away. No, XM. Jukes him to waste a little bit of mana. Blinks the other way. Killer, still going to make the jump in on Frisk, but doesn't have Doom to throw out. Lunfer in the meantime, still going to chase it outside, but the Glimmer Cape is going to ensure that he cannot die. And so just so much chase here from Poke, but it amounts to nothing. Had Flyfly been there, he, they may have just turned, but he was farming the triangle in the meantime. Yeah, not quite in a position to get their output going. This is getting to be that moment where Pope will want to keep forcing these fights, though. Only BKB lacking in small KKs, and he's not too far off. Just about 20 gold. It's pretty much done. Even if they fight into Aegis, like, it does feel like they want to get something done. Maybe just play for the high ground defense. Smoke out from Piggy Killer. Poke. 
can get a little bit scary in that defense. But again, triple BKBs up for the place. Yeah, this is the first time we get to see the, the sidekick on the actual spirit bear. I was starting Jesus. to doubt it even worked for a moment, but that's a lot of damage as fly. Well, they're going to zip in. Small KK is in there on Chris, but the Guardian Greaves is going to save it. The Doom has been committed, but who is it actually on? They got the Primal Beast, but he's just casually walking away. Small KK is still trying. Static Storm has dropped. They will finally get the Primal down. But Small KK is running out of mana real darn fast as he finds a triple kill, but will eventually go down. But still, it will be a successful defense. The Storm basically found three heroes on his own. And that'll be enough to force them out of there and allow some time for this living armor to heal up this tier 3 tower. And they desperately needed it, because once that sidekick gets put on the spirit bear, the tower just melts. It does not last that long. Fly Fly just rips it apart. You gotta love having that demolish on hand with the bear. It was so like, what, plus 179 damage for the spirit bear? Almost, uh, it's it's more than double damage for the bear coming Here out there. Now, that's with the living armor, by the way, ladies. Like, there's bonus armor <laughs> being placed on that damn tower. And it just takes out, what, like 90% of the HP? in one sidekick is just gone. Radiance Courier has been killed. Oh, on XM to protect from any instant dooms, or at least the Vortex, so you've always got time to respond here on the puck. And they'll just go again. They still have time in the Aegis. Not too much time, mind you. More than enough time to rip through the objective, though. Yeah. There's a side peak being placed now. Oh, my and God. The, the Rax is... I believe that was five <laughs> hits. That is, Beautiful. that is ridiculous. I mean, at least it wasn't the melee barracks. At the least, right? Like, it was only the range. Yeah, tier three tower range goes down. Aegis does expire from Fly Fly. And, well, they've had enough. They're just going to be like, okay, we'll come back later. It's okay. We're still getting more farm. Like, this bear is going to have an AC soon, and that's going to cause a lot of issues because the bear's just going to be too tanky to deal with. Like, Poke are going to try and smoke up now. Lunfer does at least have a Chrysalis up going into the Daedalus. So a bit more damage on the Morphling. Let's see if it pays off, because they do get a nice scan out in the Radiant Triangle. They'll know exactly where Piggy Killer are at the moment. Problem is, Piggy Killer are just holding high ground, waiting for them to come in. Like, they want the fight. There's no doubt about that. Waveform forward. Aww. Lunfer, he's just going to rush in. Very, very quiet kind of initiation, but here we go. Small KK looking for Frisk will go right in, but the Onslaught, it does connect on the Storm. The Pulverize is there as well. Small KK forced the BKB in the last second, trying to deal with the Marcy, but the Marcy's still not dying. Finally, Frisk does go down. But they've lost Aaron in the meantime. Now Doom is committed. They found Ava with that. He did pop his BKB. His Ranfu Dao goes down on the oh, tree. And XM still being chased down, but he's all right. Killer's being chased here by the Spirit Bear. He is going to drop. Lunfer is still trying. They'll finally get Ava down, but now Lunfer needs to get out. And he'll be okay to jaunt away with his own orb. It's a two for three with a buyback committed by Eren. Flyfly, though, just going to casually oh, jump no. in. And now with the Static Storm, they've got the Storm down. Oh, boy. Millie Barracks, not gonna last. He'll just respawn nah. the bear. He doesn't care. Yeah, he got the damage. You can't stop that push, and this time Piggy Killer comes out massively on top. Just a very staggered fight coming out from Poke. The patience from Piggy Killer, right? Like, they want to look for those BKBs to be popped. They wait a long time for some of them to slowly commit that spell immune to you. And once those BKBs are down, you just run them down. You've still got the control, you've still got the output. You just need to kind of juke around, and their spacing was perfect in that last fight. They just stay far enough apart that it's not comfy for Killa to commit Doom early on, it's not comfy for Small KK to just zip in and try to find a pickoff, because he's so isolated from the rest of his team. And Piggy Killer, their execution, as always, is top form. Like, this is just 
solid execution coming out from them. Frisk getting chased down a bit. Oh. Lanfer does do a lot of damage. It's just so sad though, because like Frisk is not dying quick enough in these fights. And this is a, a pause fight, Marcy, by the way. They're going to jump in. One of the more. Lunfer forced to BKB TP. Not a very good feeling for the Morphling, but that is required for him to actually get out of that safely. Yeah, I think that's his second BKB charge down now. Roshan only half a minute away. That it's a little XM. bit of an awkward timing. Oh boy. Right, small KK just dies. Meanwhile, XM is just messing with them as they do drop the Static Storm here, but oh, he might actually go down. Eren did take the Static Storm and use it against them. So they got the puck. The problem is you already lost the Storm and now you've lost Eren. Ranfu down, TP's out, but Frisk is still going. What? Jump in, outside, he's gonna drop to Lunfer. In comes Ava though to try and help out his Marcy as Frisk. May have gone a bit too far this time around. While all this is happening, by the way, Flyfly is just ratting them. He's got the mid <laughs> down. Frisk might drop, but they've got so much out of this. Like, they just got the mid That mid-racks. is ridiculous. Flyfly's just like, see you guys, I I'm, I'm good. I'm just gonna take this structure. You guys can kill my team. I'm fine with that. You gotta appreciate objective gaming. Lanfer, kind of hanging around with no BKB. Ava not gonna be able to tempt fate though. Roshan is up, but there is enough time for both sides to just wait for the response on all of their heroes. You should have a decent fight coming out for all sides now. If the initiation angles are good for poke in such a tight spot, they can punish. But for Piggy Killer, I mean, if you overcommit your BKBs too early, you're stuck in that tight spot. Static Storm is going to be a massive problem. And you actually have the full Ags ready to go on outside. That is incredibly fast timing for a Disruptor. Treaty minutes in. He's not even 18. He already uh, already has the Ags Static Storm. Yeah. Not even a... No Philly Stone or anything. He just spams it up. Like, he's had such a good game. Getting so much gold off these big core kills with the Static Storm. And now... Even with just a 5k advantage, they're going to go into the Roshan pit. Smoke is out because Poe cannot afford to let this one go down. It's way too valuable when your Turax is down. Killer, he needs to make the initiation of his life. He's going to go on to Ava right away and they've got the Primal Beast down. Frisk is trying to buy time for Flyfly to get the Roshan. Small KK, he's going to make the jump in, but the Fear is out. He'll run right into the Static Storm and now the Aegis is taken by Fly. The Small KK needs to run. Lunfer needs to get out as well. It is not safe. This bear is a real problem. They lose the storm. Small KK is down. Fear out from the low ground. Gonna connect them to the Trent. Run food down. Gonna have to blink his way up, but they found the more fling. Lun Fur is gone. No buyback available. And I believe that's just GG. Like you can buy back on small KK, but without your pause one more fling, I, I don't see how you defend this. It's a it's a very hard defense. Fly fly will just rip through everything. They even lose Ronfu, so they can't stall with the living armor for the respawns. And it just melts. <laughs> they they don't even have sidekick, sidekick, man. Yeah. It's way too fast. And Fly Fly is just too damn fat. And they're just going to be able to pretty much find everything. Mega Creeps up, Tier Forest. You're not backing off here if you're Piggy Killer. If you're Poke right now, you'll have Doom in half a minute. That's about the time when your Morphling's back up, but... Your Ancient probably isn't going to survive that long, it feels like here, Mike. No, it's certainly not. That's going to be a, a very quick T2, T4 towers going down as... Oh, what can you do? You know, they're not going to call GG. They're just going to let the Ancient go down the hard way. As it seems like Killer is going to drop just before he dies. He'll buy back. Maybe another one to come. They'll glimpse him back right at the same spot, but he pops his BKB, but the game's over. That'll be game one to go the way Piggy...